Hey everyone, it's Vosk. I'm here with Tails. You're watching the Vosk One YouTube channel, and today I'm here to bring you my April 2018 mining update. First things first, Tails. Tails has been doing well. Every vet visit recently has been good. For those who don't know, this December she was basically her immune system was killing herself from the inside out. Lost my job over it, taking care of her. Fast forward, you know, three, four months. Here we are, so thankful that you awesome community have been so supportive and that she's been recovering. So hopefully tomorrow is our final vet visit and she is off of the steroids. So let's talk crypto. Obviously it's a FUD storm out there. <laughs> it's been pretty red lately. That's a whole nother video though, coming soon. As far as mining, it's not looking good boys. It's not looking good. I've been so vocal about this for a while now and people think I'm such a hater of these ASICs. But it's not the ASIC miner that is so bad. It's the force behind them. If these developers do not fork these ASIC miners off of their projects, then I, I don't care what they say. They don't care about our decentralization. Oh, well, Samsung is going to come and they're going to give everybody a fair chance to get an ASIC miner. Yeah, like, okay, okay, still looking for it, still, still waiting. Okay, let's let Bitmain take over and then we'll just assume that Samsung, being the giant they are, will also take over. Maybe they'll strike a business deal and partner up with Bitmain. I mean, can I imagine a worse future? Uh, not, not really. I can't really imagine much more of a worse future. I cannot believe how much negative feedback I've gotten recently, especially surrounding all this ASIC BS. Well, guess what, guys? You can keep downvoting, and it's going to be just like BitConnect. Remember BitConnect? It was my most downvoted video when I said BitConnect is a ridiculous scam Ponzi scheme, and it's going to blow up, and it's going to hurt crypto in a big way. Oh, look at that. Sure enough, it did. It wasn't hard to see. I'm not a super genius. I'm just a wolf, man. And if you're going to be here in the Voss Coin subscriber list, you need to be a wolf too. No sheep here. And it's the same thing happening again. We, we got a big issue. I'm trying to rally support and some people are mad about it. Well, look at Monero Classic. Monero, awesome project they are that I'm a bigger fan than ever now, has forked the ASIC miners off of their chain. And wow, Monero Classic is born, being, you know, touted by Bitmain. I mean, come on, like, if this doesn't prove exactly what, you know, I've been saying and others have been saying, I don't know what else to tell you. Let's look at the Ethereum uh, live stream today. They talked about, you know, should we fork the ASICs? It's mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing that the number two crypto in the entire world, Tim, did you know that Ethereum is the number two? No, it's not Dogecoin. It's all right, it's all right. They have, they have a bad developer that abandoned their project. But like I was saying, Ethereum, the number two project in the world of cryptocurrency, did not have a backup algorithm. And, and they don't even understand the severity of it. I, I cannot believe how out of touch these developers are with you know the, the original goal. And you're like, oh, Vosk, you're so biased, and you have a GPU mining farm. Well, one, I've been uh, downsizing my farm just because I, I got over 100 GPUs, and I kind of had a wake-up call. I was like, wow, like I've got a lot of GPUs. Then once I ran all the math, sure enough, I overgrew. And I don't have enough electric in my shed for all of this. Then the community has had so much negative feedback, and, and I've just been looking at the whole, the whole scheme here. I've been looking at everything. And it just doesn't make sense to have a big GPU farm right now. The community is so split. And you know, it's like that old saying, a house divided will not stand. Well, you know, a split GPU mining community will fall too. And with that, I'm downsizing my stuff. It's not worth the risk. Over the last year, it was a very clear picture. When I built out my farm, when I built 22 trio rigs, man, why didn't some of you guys help me build more condensed rigs? I tell you what though, I got those things up and going fast. I could build a trio rig, which is a 1080 Ti, a 1080 Ti, and a 1070 Mini, all mounted directly on our the Gigabyte board we always use, in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I could bang out a rig. That's pretty cool. The point is, I love GPU mining. Absolutely love it. I mean, it's why I'm here. I got into crypto because of Ethereum mining. That's when I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I like all this stuff. I like the tech. You know, I, I see the I see the vision, but it's mining. Mining is what makes me excited. I can spend my USD. I can get these components that have great resale. I can use high quality parts. I can support, for the most part, good companies and you know support the whole system while I do it. But I'm not just gonna sit here idly being this, you know, hero, you know, supporting the network while I just get swept away by these ASIC miners from one company or when a roundup 
two, three companies that all operate the same. I don't know what else to tell everyone here. I mean, maybe this isn't really my mining farm update video this month. Maybe this is just my state of mining update or you know, my plea, outcry, my final speech, man. This is it. If we don't make some moves here, it's over. And that's why I featured the Ravencoin project because it has that ASIC resistant algorithm. That's why there's some other cool projects that I'm also gonna feature very soon that boast a similar algorithm. It's also why I featured Snowgem and Pearl because they're master node projects that you can mine before, who knows what happens with mining at this rate, that you can mine, get a master node, and kind of hedge yourself. You're not just mining a coin that you have to hodl, you're mining a coin that you'll hodl and hopefully make that passive income there as well. In, in today's age, mining is still cool and I still absolutely advocate having a rig, building a rig. But I would not say that I recommend building a farm on a positive note, because I know this has been a little negative and I always try to keep a positive vibe in my stuff. Vega Rig, thanks to Mining Cave, we're gonna be building out a Vega Rig to mine the new Kryptonite algorithm, aka the new Monero fork, and I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, right now, I was just messing around. I was getting them all set on RGB. It's gonna be a Windows build. Definitely different style than what we've been doing lately, so it's gonna be fun. Um, we also toured a crypto startup recently, and we brought back one of their mining rigs. You're like, oh, Vaz, you just said mining was dead and stuff. Well, you know what? We're still gonna fight the fight here, okay? We're not just gonna roll over and die, right, Tails? Right. I will continue to showcase projects that are you know, off the radar, fun, big upside, good to mine. I'm not giving up on mining, so please do not take this as I'm giving up on mining. This is my cry for help in the fight if you're on the fence, if you're undecided, if you're against me. You know, these people, listen to this. Watch when I say this, because I cannot believe that I don't want to sound mean, but it's just absolutely naive. They look at this F ASIC miner from Bitmain and they're like, oh, well, it's not really far off from a GPU rig. Yeah, it's just one third the cost. If that's not already a big enough issue, so it's going to swamp the network just with that model. But guess what? Bitmain, you know what? Everybody hates them, but they're freaking super geniuses. And I don't know if I sound like, you know, not very genius if I'm saying super genius, but absolutely, they are so incredibly smart. That's why they are the worldwide giant monopoly of cryptocurrency mining, controlling the biggest cryptocurrency ever in the world, Bitcoin. And one of the other biggest coins, um, which, you know, you might have heard of, Litecoin, and now they're gonna own the second coin. They're gonna own one and two, and they made up the third, Bitcoin Cash. <laughs> I mean, they own the top four coins. They own the top four coins. They're doing it, they're taking over, wake up. This is not their fastest. Ethereum, Ethash Miner, this is just the beginning. Also, I wanna clarify one thing. If you saw my videos a couple months months ago, I had the A3, and that was exciting because I was the first one to debut the A3 online. So I'm wrong, I was excited about that. From just a YouTuber point of view, that was exciting, okay? And the whole state of ASIC mining was not the same that it is now. Furthermore, my stance against Sidecoin forking off of the A3 ASIC miners was because they toted the performance of ASICs, their benefits, and they were actively developing their own. So if they want ASIC miners and someone came and delivered them and crashed their party, they don't get to cry and kick them out. That sucks for them. You know, maybe they should have went that route. If anything, they should have moved off of an algorithm that was dual mined and make it a purpose mined coin. But what do I know? I'm just a doge dad. I hate to drop another piece of bad news here, but as always, I'm absolutely transparent. I'm here for you guys and not just myself. Zuko, the founder of Zcash, has openly stated that he basically doesn't see the severity or the problem of ASIC miners. And if that's the case, he's not gonna do anything about it. And, and he's the Equihash leading coin. So all, a lot of these other coins are gonna follow suit. If there's anyone that can save us there, it would be Zencash because, hey, mark my words, Zencash is gonna surpass Zcash, I'll bet, in a year. If you look at everything they're doing, it's crazy. They're building their own platform. I'm like, oh, Vibes, all you ever do is talk about Zencash. Well, maybe if you looked into it, you'd understand why. They also just announced in the last live stream, Supernodes, 
and secure nodes they will be getting 20 percent 10 and 10 of the block reward by the end of the year so mining earnings will go down some but if you've been hodling that zen cash you can create a secure node which we have an upcoming tutorial on actually a couple and then also super node which we'll create a tutorial on when that time comes ultimately this is not a time to get sad or down or give up this is a time to pick up your keyboard because i know you all are keyboard warriors Pick up your keyboard and fight. Anyway, don't ever tell me I didn't tell you guys first. This is the Voscoin YouTube channel. This is the home of the wolves. Okay, we're the wolves, not the sheep. All right, everyone. Sorry the video was a bit serious today. But, I mean, this is... I just want people to understand the severity of the situation we have here at hand. And, you know, I try to mix in some jokes and stuff. And hope you all don't think I'm crazy now. And I'll be able to tell by your feedback on the video... But, you know, whether you agree with me or not, if you at least like the content, smash the thumbs up. But if you, all you guys unsubscribe and smash thumbs down, I'll understand. But please under, please also understand, tomorrow I'll have another video. Because I'm not giving up, and I hope you won't either. And I know Tails never will. She just fought the fight herself, and she's still here and kicking. With that said, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I'll be home.